Okay, so the only requirements that you had for this job was to get like two years experience in an executive level of an accounting place and then to have like four CEOs write a letter of recommendation for me. All right, I don't have that. I'll be very honest. I have 10 times more than that. So I don't believe that the richest person that I know is any determination of what I'm worth and my skills. The richest person that I know, this guy is worth like the same as a used Honda Civic, like $7,000. My skills are worth more than like your company and maybe two of your rivals. So let me just explain this very simply. I looked at your autobiography and I only read the first two lines because I was not about to waste my life reading a page. I finished high school and done with that stuff. So I saw that you didn't mention anything about getting a world record at any point in your life. So I actually do have a world record. I beat three cats in a staring contest, non-contest, all the judges agreed, no supplements, no drugs, and no blinking, all right? This was very tough. Just so you understand, I was live streamed in front of like 15 people on a live crowd and 10 people on YouTube watching the entire two minutes. This is extreme, okay? I took 16 years of my life in pure dedication to win this, and I did it. If that doesn't show you hard work ethic, I don't know what does. So aside from that, I also looked and I saw that the difference between why you're failing compared to your rivals, why they're being on the Fortune 10 and you're like the Fortune 20 because you didn't make it on the top 10, that's because you're only taking two months of vacations throughout the year. All the other CEOs are doing like nine, 10 months of vacation. You're outsourcing only 40% of your job. They're outsourcing 80% of their job. I think there's a clear pattern over here. So I researched about 10 minutes. That was how much I had patience for. And I learned a lot of deep secrets about these companies. And I figured out that the right way to do it is pretty much just to copy them. So I definitely am the best candidate for this because I can easily outsource 98.2% of my job and take 12 of the 12 months on vacation. Okay, I can do this. I'm determined and I'm capable. And I can make a lot of very good public relation photos of me sitting at some desk at like the Marriott where instead of showing you the funny cat memes that I'm looking at, I'm actually looking like very determined and serious like I'm working on some spreadsheet from Excel. So I just want you to understand, I can do this job. I can do it better than you. And I eventually do plan on taking the CEO position and getting you kicked out of your job because you're actually working too hard and it's very unnecessary for the company and it's making you fail in your revenue. So I definitely think I've expressed why I earned $65,000 in a sign up bonus and you can now pay me that in PayPal, Zelle, Venmo, or I can just go to Microsoft. They said that you suck and they're going to give me like $2 million and a Lamborghini to sign up. So it's really your choice. Hey, I saw you were looking for a new lead singer on Facebook. I actually have a ton of experience. I've been singing every day for the last two weeks in my shower. Right when I did a live show in front of my cat, she scratched me and ran away. I was like, I knew she believed in me. And then I saw the founder of MySpace in Taco Bell. Right when I started singing, he was like, damn. And then he blocked me. So another time I went to get a Big Mac from the drive-thru at McDonald's and the lady in the drive-thru box she started hearing me sing and she was like, man, this guy sounds just like Jack Black from Rock of Ages. So I've just been trying to perfect myself, get more of a vocal range. So I've been practicing like country, screamo, heavy metal, and a little bit of trance. So I think I'm on the right track. Hey, I saw you were looking for a bodyguard on Craigslist. I actually just finished my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu instructor class. It's formerly known as the 2020 group on masterclass. It was the highest rated one that they had on sale that day. So I saw all three videos, but I wanted to be an expert. So I went on YouTube and I typed in, what are the best beginner jujitsu moves to know? Shortest playlist had two videos, so I watched that. And I realized I'm a very visual learner, so I don't have to actually physically practice this. I just watch it a few times and it made all the sense. So I also have a lot of transferable skills. I think it'll give me an upper hand in this job. I've been the lead receptionist in Motel 6 for the last 20 years. So I'm good at, you know, hiding from stressful situations, hanging up the phone, having good communication in person, and basically just having a good signature. So I think that really helps. 
Plus, I went on Reddit and I typed in, what do you do for chronic lower back pain? And they said, eat blueberries and have an active lifestyle. So I said, you know what? That worked for the six people in the thread. It'll work for me too. So I went to Dr. Google and I said, hey, what's the best job for an active lifestyle? And bodyguard came up number one. So I was like, you know what? That makes sense. That's for me. So I got some shoes on eBay and I'm pretty much going to be ready in the next three months. So, you know, let me know if you want me to start or if you want to give me that signing bonus, whichever one's good. Hey, I saw that sign hanging in the tree and it said expert level valet wanted. So I was thinking this is like the best job ever. I have all the skills for that. So just a little bit about myself. I've actually learned to drive since I was four years old. So I was trained in the most prestigious academy. It's kind of like Harvard, but in driver's ed form. And it was basically called Mickey Mouse's Driving Academy. So they teach everybody in group session all the way from newborn to 125 year olds. So I was really taught by the best in the best atmosphere and the best technology. And I went all the way from beginner all the way into triple A rated proficiency in the advanced courses. And so just to like, you know, cut the boring part, advance was like very difficult. They told us to parallel park within, I think it was a 75 foot space between two cars. So I really had a tough time. Honestly, everybody did. Mickey Mouse said himself, it took him about 25 tries to get it down, but I actually got it down on the fourth try. And I eventually got so good that when it got to driver's ed, I passed my permit test on like the 20th try and my license on the 40th try. So I definitely think that I'm one of the best drivers out there. And you know, I also learned just as a side for safety, I learned a lot of the best of the best techniques, how to use the brake pedal, how to, you know, hit the hazard lights, and then also how to clean the wiper blades to make sure for good visibility when driving. So I know now like there's Tesla's and it's all automated, but it's still good to have that manual proficiency of knowing how to do that because we still don't have fully electric cars and fully autonomous cars out there. So I think if you look at your competitors, you'll see that they're actually willing to pay 50 to $60 an hour based on certificates and training. I can get you everything. Mickey and Donald, they signed everything. So I got it all in a box. Um, I don't know where it is, but I'll fax it to you when I have time. And then I wanted to talk another thing. Business Weekly in their magazine, they were mentioning it's good to be transparent about healthy job environments and to not cause future conflicts between employees and the employer. So I wanted to mention, I am scared of heights. So I won't be driving SUVs and I don't like extra long vehicles like, you know, limos. And I also don't like cars that seat more than two people. So I'll be driving the smart cars and if anybody else comes in, I'll tell them, hey, you can drive this one. So just to make sure everyone is very clear on what they're able and what they feel like doing. So I think that makes for a very good, healthy environment. Aside from that, I saw in the European School of Journalism, they said that to have a longer life and a happier life, you have to work less. And I'm very comfortable with that. And I believe their references and everything. So. I'm here and very pleased to tell you that I am fully understanding of very solid work ethics and I'm willing to work about four hours a week. If you need overtime, I can bump that to four and a third hour a week. So I could definitely do this. It's not a problem whatsoever. Um, as you can tell, I have skills. I have work ethic. You know, I read a lot about health and wellness, so I know what's right to do. And basically, I'm ready for the job. So you can now pay me on PayPal, Venmo, or I can go to your competitors. So, you know, just let me know. There's too many video calling apps out there. We have Facebook, we have Skype, we have WhatsApp. That's a monopoly. You can't have that in the tech space. Okay. So I wanted to make a revolutionary app. that's good for everybody. I'm talking Gen X, Y, Z talking boomers. And I just wanted to pull all the best features of all the video calling apps that you already have and just make a different design. That's it. Our logo is iconic. People are going to remember the old camcorder and our marketing strategy. It's the best out there. We want to be like a pop-up like you don't know or care about us right now, but in two months, 
We're going to be recommended by everyone. We're going to be on all the news outlets. We're going to have five star on Yelp. We'll have it all. We just want everyone to use Zoom. I'm talking lemonade stands, teachers, master chef, everybody. We stand for inspiration and originality here at Zoom. So please invest your hard earned money in us so we can put our app on phones everywhere and we can be just like Skypey. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for using Zoom. Seriously, we were completely joking when we made this app. We didn't actually think that we can copy all the big ones like Skypey and all and actually make ours famous. That's just legendary. I was just watching the Shark Tank episode at like 4 a.m. I had some popcorn, I saw people make sales pitches and I was like, I can do that. So we wanted to announce our newest phone app and this one is super original unlike Zoom. So it's called Phone. You can dial out to anybody all over the world and it's completely free. All you need is the phone number of the person you're trying to dial to and to have internet on your phone, that's it. We wanted to make sure you can find the phone app super easily on the App Store. So we're going for this logo that has like a classic vibe to it you know, like a landline that's still on the wall from the 60s. And it's got one of those really annoying long 60 foot cords that are all tangled. Yeah, so you can't miss it. Check it out on the App Store. Just to make sure you have the most absolute crystal clear calls on our phone app. We're trying to piggyback off the best leading servers in the world, Facebook. So thank you guys so much for following all of our copycat apps and really being our loyal minions because we know that there was so many original apps to choose from, but you chose to use ours. Do you want to connect with some trolls, strangers, maybe a couple of friends and family online? Facebook lets you do that, except our site went a step ahead. We encourage hatred, jealousy, and drama, all among millions of users who are all trying to compete with who has the best fake smile in a selfie, plus who posts the most pictures of their basic vacations they took throughout the year. As you use our site, we're going to monitor what you look at so we can show you the most relevant posts that are all very similar to everything that's been pissing you off for the last 24 hours. You might be thinking this is clearly a fantasy, but we don't want to brag. So we're just going to call it social media, even though the more you use it, you're probably going to get a lot more antisocial. The more you log hours on Facebook, the more you'll eventually forget your own reality. And so you're basically just going to talk to your friends online, but that's the beauty of it because who actually needs live human interaction in 2021? I think we're more advanced than that. Thank you so much for joining our digital cult. We really appreciate that you want to help us keep humanity held to the highest standards of passive aggressive and jealous behavior. I don't actually have a car, but I can sell them really easily. Growing up, I researched a lot of critical car facts like, can you get a car with a plant-based engine? Or can you get a brand new car that has no windshield on it? Your sales crew are literally like Freddy Krueger from Halloween. The second somebody parks their car in the lot, your sales crew jumps at them. I have a better approach. I want to get a shirt that in very big letters, it says, don't talk to me unless you want to buy a car, because I think I can build a more meaningful connection with customers that way. When people ask me really stupid questions, like how do I file a complaint or where's your manager? I'm just going to ignore them because those kind of questions don't pay my bills. I'm going to be your best salesman. So I think you should do yourself a favor, fire your whole sales crew. Just pay me their total income. Man, I don't need to work. I just exist. People should appreciate that more. People think I have some kind of easy life. Criticizing people is really hard. You should try that sometime before judging me. Keeping my record of never working a day in my life and using everybody, that's intense. Not everyone can handle this kind of lifestyle. I recently found out I'm actually allergic to shirts that aren't made by Gucci. Every time I see those no logo shirts, it just makes me like itchy everywhere. Can't control it. My ultimate goal since I was a kid, do nothing, be jealous of people and live that basic life. I'm going to turn that dream into a reality. I'm the best chef you'll ever meet. My specialty is mashed potatoes. I could turn that box dust into the best cloud looking mashed potatoes you've ever seen. You have all these chefs showing off these cuisines and custom foods. No one cares about that stuff today. Everyone just wants that basic 99 cent store frozen pizza. I could turn the most basic and expired food ingredients into the most basic and creepy food you've ever tasted. You don't have to put pro chefs on your show. Just put me, let my personality and talent shine. 
and then watch how all your ratings go skyrocketing.